Halsey's gigantic third fleet steams at full strength through Japanese home waters on a mission of destiny to carry out, along with other Allied forces, the first historic landings on the soil of Japan. 400 fighting ships led by the mighty 45,000-ton USS Missouri move in on the enemy in a stunning demonstration of Allied sea power. The fleet that the Japanese meant to destroy forever at Pearl Harbor comes back to stay. Admiral Halsey and the officers and men of the United States Navy are nearing the final goal. On Okinawa Island, 600 miles southeast, hundreds of United States transport planes stand ready to fly the 11th Airborne Division to Tokyo. An appropriate jumping off place for a last triumphant journey. Here on bloody Okinawa, the Japanese made their final desperate stand. Here at cruel cost, they were at last smashed. The 11th Airborne's planes pass by Mount Fujiyama, occupation bound. Official pictures show first transports arriving at Atsugi Airdrome, just outside Japan's capital. Following instructions of the Supreme Allied Command, Japanese officers walk out to give over the airfield. This is surrender. Major General Swing, 11th Airborne Chief, and Lieutenant General Eichelberger, commanding the 8th Army, confer with the Japanese. Atsugi, first of thousands of Japanese positions, a new flag waves. More and more transports land, bringing up thousands of troops to occupy Japan's main island. Japanese military police are put under Allied control to be used in the early stage of the occupation. Tsugi Airfield bears the marks of the terrific punishment administered by B-29s and carrier planes. Now, simultaneously with the airborne landings, all these ships in Sagami Bay, just below Tokyo Bay, prepare to move through Uraga Strait toward Yokosuka, Yokohama, and Tokyo. Navy plane brings up a distinguished visitor to Halsey's flagship, the Missouri. In the hour of victory, Admiral Chester Nimitz, Pacific Fleet Commander, comes to say, well done, to a valiant deputy. Still acting on the prearranged MacArthur terms, a group of Japanese harbor pilots comes alongside the cruiser San Diego for the trip through Uraga Strait. San Diego was the flagship of the specially created Task Force 31, Admiral Badger commanding, which will land American Marines and sailors inside Tokyo Bay. The Japanese give full information on mines, soundings, and coastal defenses as Task Force 31 sails past the strait toward its first objective. <laughs> of Japanese sea power is everywhere. The 33,000-ton Japanese battleship Nagako, hit July the 18th by Third Fleet aircraft, lies out of action in the harbor. But some of her guns may still be dangerous. Ship and crew are taken in custody by the Navy. is turned over to her new captain, Thomas Flynn, former executive officer of the USS Iowa. Once one of the most powerful ships in the world, the Nagato now flies the Stars and Stripes. 